Okay, so uh, I've done a video recently about Marcus Coloma leaving General Hospital as Nicholas Cassadine, and I've touched on the death of Nicholas before, and <clears throat> I got a lot of comments about how Nicholas is 100% dead, absolutely no question about it. They've shown his body, so that is proof positive that Nicholas Cassadine is 100% dead. But it's a soap opera. You know, it's a, until it is confirmed, confirmed by like everybody in town. And even then, who knows? So even now, I'm not so sure about that. And I really kind of haven't been from day one. And again, none of the casting stuff really makes a whole lot of sense to me. Um, it could very well be that they did not renew Marcus's contract because they were planning on just killing off the character. But to kill off the character like a Nicholas Cassadine without much fanfare or fireworks to go with it, I just don't see them taking the character out with just a simple bonk on the head that produced zero blood in the, in the first place. So... And I've also seen enough soap operas to know that uh, just because there is a body doesn't mean that person's dead. So, I mean, we've had Brenda Barrett going off a cliff before and somehow survived and came back. Lucky Spencer, they found a body. They found the subway token around Lucky's neck that Elizabeth gave him. The dental records for Lucky matched up. And then what happened? A week later, we saw Lucky Spencer still alive. So again, until everything in my mind, and, and again, you're free to believe. If you want to believe that the, the character's dead and I'm a complete idiot who doesn't know what he's talking about because they've shown the body, everybody says he's dead, so he's got to be dead. That's fine. I'll, I'll take that. That's part of doing these videos. That's part of putting my opinion out there. And I love seeing your opinion. I love seeing that, you know, if you think he's dead, great. And he very well could be. And the day that they come back and say, he's completely dead. We've bagged his body. We've taken him off of Spoon Island. He's completely dead. I'll say, okay, hey, I was wrong. My theory was wrong. No big deal. But until that happens, I still, the pieces just aren't falling into place for me. So again, I'm going to continue to run with my theory that I don't think Nicholas Cassadine is 100% dead. I am still waiting on somebody to go to the stable and find nothing. To find absolutely nothing. Nobody, no trace. Think of what's going to produce the most drama. What's going to produce the most drama going forward for General Hospital? They open the stable door and there's Nicholas's body dead. Or they open the stable door and there's no body. I mean, look at what happened with um, um, Peter, Peter August. Look at what happened with him. Finn and Elizabeth literally stuffed his body in a freezer in the general hospital basement. They came back, opened the freezer, and the body was gone. So why can't the same thing happen with Nicholas? I mean, it's the same writer, so certainly they can come up with the same kind of story, right? So... Until that happens, I'm just not convinced. And also, there's now a rumor out there, okay? And I'm just going to say, I don't know if this is an actual spoiler. I feel like this may just be a rumor at this point, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, and if you like to watch the show spoiler-free, don't say I didn't warn you, because this could be a spoiler, but it could not be. Nothing has been confirmed yet. But Sandra McIntyre of CelebratingTheSoaps.com put out a story that somehow Mason ends up finding Nicholas's body and taking it and hiding it so that he can use this to blackmail Ava and Austin. Uh, we know that Mason's certainly been keeping close tabs on Ava and Austin. And of course, with both of them being on Spoon Island, you got to know that somehow Mason's going to find his way onto the island and into Windermere somehow. Um, not sure. Don't know how I feel about that particular rumor, especially now when we've got Ryan Chamberlain and Heather Weber on the island and Esme Prince on the island. 
It could be a possibility that Mason has made his way to the island and doesn't know about all this other stuff going on. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know at this point. But let me know what you think. And yes, I am 100% ready for people to say, Eric, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? The dude's dead. Give it up. Give it up already. He's dead. Let it go. The character's dead. I get that. And I'm fully ready for that. And I'm waiting for it. Um, because I love your comments. I don't care if they're good, bad, or indifferent. Um, you can call me an idiot. It doesn't bother me. Uh, but again, I'm going to hold on just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. I'm going to hold on. And I'm going to think that Nicholas is still alive. They've taken him off of TV so that they could find the next Nicholas Cassidon, who I still think is going to be Tyler Christopher. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. And I'll be wrong again. So anyway, until something changes, I am going to stick to that theory about Nicholas Cassadine. So anyway, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you again for all the support. I know I say it every week, but thank you so much for the support. The subscribers are growing like crazy. Um, the amount of views I'm getting on these video is just mind blowing. I think my fiance is honestly sick of me like telling her almost every couple of hours, you know, the update to this channel. So, but I'm excited. I can't help it. I love interacting with all of you. Thank you so much for the comments you all are leaving. I try to get to as many as, as I possibly can in some way, shape or form, even if it's just to like your comment, but I truly love engaging with each and every one of you. And I want to thank you all for continuing to watch and please, please, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, this is Eric for the Port Charles Podcast.